believe we have a unique culture. And I think we all believe it is the reason why we have grown to the level that we have grown and why we have accomplished the things that we have. Hey guys, Brian and Johnny here from Workshop Addict. We are going into the mid-month Milwaukee Workshop Addict Tool Bucket List Giveaway. You can come to our blog or to our forum, ask for anything that you want. We'll have multiple winners this month. It's cool, get in, check it out. We're gonna go over some stuff that's happening with Milwaukee, some of the things that people have already requested and asked for, and generally go over some information. So take it away, Johnny. All right. I've had the opportunity to go to go to the Milwaukee New Tools Symposium the last two years, and so I have a good idea and understanding of what this company is about, where they're going, you know, as far as anybody can be, I guess. <laughs> and during this event, uh, there was basically three things that I heard consistently for both years. Um, first off is cut the cord. Milwaukee's idea is they want to go eventually to all cordless tools. They feel that the technology is getting there and pretty soon you're going to be able to do everything you can with a cordless tool that you can with a corded tool. The other thing was um, focus on the end user. A lot of their innovations that are, come out, are coming out are based on the end users, which are the electricians, the guys in the field. And, and what they're trying to do is make sure they're giving them the best tool possible that'll work for them. And on that same thing, disruptive innovation is the third thing I heard. What that means is they're trying to change the tools. Instead of putting out the same tools all the time, they're trying to change things up and make an impact on, on the tool world. For instance, their, um, their pliers, their strippers, wire strippers, they added a conduit reamer in them. Not huge, but it's a nice addition. They have little changes and things that make their tools better. Let's take that a huge step further. I mean, we just did a review on the Superhog. And countless people came up and said, man, I've had my uh, corded super hog for 20 years, used it. You can't, you know, I've gotten pinned behind a wall with it. I've sprained my knee. I've broken my wrist. They put a clutch in it. So now in low range, you got a clutch. So, I mean, they're thinking. And besides they're that, there's no other cordless super hog type tool out there. No. So they're doing a lot of great things, not only for thinking about people, but keeping them safe. Yeah. And in another instance, you know, the biggest, baddest drill out there right now, 1,200 inch pounds of torque. You know, they're not just sitting back on 750, which was last year's, two right. years ago's models. I mean, they're stepping it up. So another thing this year that they were big on is one key. And while we were there, we weren't allowed to talk about it, but we were allowed to see it. And now they're rolling it out in phases. And what one key is, is it's going to be a way to, con to work with all of your tools in a digital type world. There's an app out there it's already out, it's a free app where you can have an inventory of your tools. Um, I mean, that app is huge, it does everything. It does everything. So one of the other things that it does is you're gonna see it eventually, the tools coming out are gonna be a Bluetooth tool and you're gonna be able to control some of the functions of the tool with your app. For instance, in some of the drills, there's gonna be a one, two, and three setting, and then there's gonna be a four. And number four is going to be, you can actually go in, and actually on all three of them, you could actually go in and set the torque ratings so for whatever you want. And Milwaukee's even making it easier that they went ahead and put a library in there, so saying, hey, if you're gonna use a three-inch deck screw, this is what you want. You can program it, that one will be set for you because that's what you're using all the time. There's I a lot more functions with that, but that's just, I could use that. I was using the impact driver to put those legs on those cabinets. And I was sitting there, you'd have to back off. It was too much power. It would have been nice to dial it down. To... Another really cool part about that one key that I forgot, it was these tools are gonna to have its own electronic footprint. So it can pair with your Bluetooth. It knows it. You can take a picture of your receipt, leave it on there. That's your tool. If somebody steals it, it gets back to the oh, Milwaukee yeah, Center where they go to fix it. They look it up wait, this isn't this guy's tool, it's this guy's tool. Look at it, they're probably gonna get it back to you. Security. It's, yeah, it's really nice. That's cool. Good innovation from Milwaukee. You know, the guys that are coming to our site and have already uh, asked for a lot of things, man, I, I'm always amazed at the different things that people want. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what are, what's on their bucket list? And we've got a huge variety of things. You've got a ton of things to choose from. We've got their toolbox sitting out back. I've seen countless people ask for that. Mm -hmm. That's a great little toolbox to have. Uh, you can hold a lot of power tools in it. 
you know, I've seen one or two people ask for this uh, metal bandsaw. That thing rocks. Yeah. Absolutely and, rocks. And just to top this, um, I believe when this came out, Milwaukee told us this has approximately 80% of the same parts that they have in the corded bottle. So this isn't like they put plastic junk on it. No, check out our review on that. That, the Super Hog, the actual whole hog uh, review that we've got out, th that's nice. Milwaukee's coming out with some new lights. Uh, that's yes. going to be cool, but I still really enjoy this one. Not that I won't enjoy the new ones, just don't have them yet. But this, this what's it, uh, octagon light? What yep, are they octagon. Called? But I don't know. Floodlight. Yeah, it used all the time. Best hunting light for tracking deer or anything that you could imagine. Just always on. I think the new one that's coming out, the floodlight that's coming out, actually has the true view. Oh, so yeah. it's going to be a whiter white. It's going to be a more natural light. And I think it's about double the lumens of this oh, one too, geez. which this one is bright. But yeah, we, we were out using that to do a lot of hunting and you could light up, we lit up areas and areas. That drill, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people have requested the new drill kit. And then we have had circular saws between the seven and a quarter and the six and a half. There's been a couple of them. I, I might even seen the five and three eighths go through hmm. the metal saw one. I've been trying to watch a lot of the comments. Great opportunity for you guys to get in, figure out what tool you're looking for. Uh, come back to our forum, support Workshop Addict a little bit. We're helping you guys out. We have another big giveaway coming up next month too. So we're just going to keep rolling into getting things out to you guys. Yeah, if you go on Facebook too, stop over at Milwaukee site and say that Workshop Attic sent you. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, they, yeah. they'd love that. Yeah. Good deal, guys. Come to our forum, come to our blog, check that out. Sign up for your free tool, whatever you're looking for. We appreciate your time, guys. Have a great day.